hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and so far we uh, were discussing about the performance characteristics of uh, measuring system and uh, we're continuing our discussion related to static characteristics so we have discussed a lot of important parameters associated with measurement system in this video we are going to discuss about another important parameter uh, which is noise in measurement system so in a very uh, quick way we'll try to cover up this so noise in measurement system is an unwanted signal okay anything which is not related to the desired signal okay which is measured from the source okay the input side by the sensor and transducer anything which is not related to the desired signal desired parameter whatever uh, parameters which we are trying to measure whether it is physical chemical optical electrical whatever form it is anything other than the desired signal is noise so we can say unwanted signals which get mixed up which get superimposed on the original desired signal the signal which we are interested in which we are trying to measure and which causes a deviation error in the output that is called as noise okay so noise can be generated at the source side external to the measurement system or it can be produced in any of these subsystems the measurement blocks that are involved it can be produced within the sensor signal conditioning circuitry signal processor circuitry power supply or any of the you know subsystems that are involved in the measurement system okay so we can uh, classify the sources of noise as this so the noise in measurement systems can be classified as generated noise conducted noise radiated noise generated noise is produced inside the measurement system okay so the subsystems that are involved the blocks that are involved in the measurement system that is the source of generated noise and this arises because of the components that are involved like resistors capacitors inductors transistors the elements that are involved in the design of these subsystems that causes generated noise and it is because of you know the uh, vibratory movement of electrons and atoms so mainly uh, we know that the sensors and transducers which we use they can be of different type it can be of resistive type it can be of capacitive type it can be of inductive type or any other type uh, the operating principle it uh, there are a lot of sensors and transducers with varying operating principles so mainly they are also the source of generated noise because of the components or elements that are used also different types of signal conditioning techniques are used you know wheatstone bridge voltage divider or ac bridges or different techniques are used depending on the elements components that are used in that subsystem Uh, generated no noise can also be produced so that generated noise can be further classified as first johnson noise here we are just discussing it in short okay we are not going into details of all of that because it also involves a lot of things within it so here we are just trying to cover up this whole thing in a short way so johnson noise it uh, it is caused because of the movement of atoms and conducting electrons electrons in the conduction band then white noise which is produced because of the you know the thermal effects 
within a resistor which leads to vibratory movement of electrons then short noise which is produced in uh, vacuum tube devices or semiconductor devices especially where semiconductor type sensors are used or uh, uh, pn junction devices are used so it is also because of the movement rap rapid movement of charges so generated noise is uh, complete then we have conducted noise so the conducted noise here the source of this noise is the power supply okay so the power supply is the source of conducted noise and here the noise signal appears or is generated in the form of uh, spikes or ripples or harmonics which is conducted from this power supply wiring okay? and then it gets superimposed or overlaps on the original desired signal from the uh, sensor side and then we have is radiated noise so radiated noise is produced because of uh, unwanted stray electromagnetic fields around the measurement system so in order to avoid or to uh, minimize the impact of uh, these noise various types of uh, techniques are used shielding grounding proper earthing so all those techniques uh, proper encasing of the various uh, subsystems especially the sensors and transducers so here proper packaging encapsulation encasing of the various components shielding from stray electromagnetic fields and other effects so also some uh, manufacturing techniques are employed so that these uh, you know effects associated with the movement of atoms and electrons they can be minimized now the the important thing is that we cannot completely eliminate the effect of noise the noise signals they will be there but all we can do is trying to figure out you know can try to figure out ways how to minimize their impact on the measurement process okay so there are different parameters uh, by which we can uh, study the effect of noise on the measurement process so one such parameter is signal to noise ratio so it can be defined or it can be expressed as the ratio of the original signal the desired signal to the unwanted noise okay so ratio between the signal power and noise power so in any system whether we are dealing with measurement systems communication systems uh, signal processing circuitry uh, it is desired to have a high signal power with respect to noise power that is high signal to noise ratio so it can be achieved either by increasing the signal level or by decreasing the noise level okay so we have uh, we we should have a high signal to noise ratio then another such parameter is power spectrum density so the power spectrum density is the ratio between the noise power and the bandwidth the operational bandwidth okay noise power divided by the operating bandwidth so it is given by the product of boltzmann constant and the absolute temperature measured in kelvin so here k is the boltzmann constant and uh, t is the absolute temperature measured in degree kelvin then another such parameter which is important is noise factor and noise figure so noise factor is the it is expressed as the ratio between the signal to noise ratio at the input side first the signal to noise ratio is calculated at the input side here signal to noise ratio at the input side then finally at the output side the signal to noise ratio is calculated and the ratio of these two it gives us the noise factor okay signal to noise ratio at the input side divided by the signal to noise ratio at the output side and noise figure is given by 10 log f okay so here also the noise factor capital f comes into play just the logarithm 
uh, factor is it is there so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to noise starting from the sources of noise and uh, the various parameters associated with uh, noise factor uh, measurement of noise noise factor noise figure power spectrum density and signal to noise ratio so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much